go. In your own time, when you're ready. Alright, I am Mohammed Fijazone and this is my work based learning presentation. I will be explaining my aspirations, my inspiration. I'll be going into depth about the company that I want to be working for and my plan of action. First of all, I'll talk about Choice, which is currently known as Capital, but yeah. Choice began as an independent company. It started in March 1990 and it was um, the first like black station to be um, to have a license and it was covering South London as well and this was in Brixton and it was around the time well during around the aftermath of when the Brixton riots happened. So with the creation of choice it was kind of like a positive retaliation to take away from the negative stereotype of the, the black people. So I just found that choice is quite close to me considering what's happened in the past and how it's progressed. Although the recent controversy with the whole global takeover, um, us, it doesn't take away from its history, as in like, the way that it was made, as I just explained. It gave a platform for urban music to be played on daytime radio, which is a big achievement. So, it, yeah, the original values, I don't think, have been taken away, just a bit covered up by the money that Global has injected into them. Um, if working there, I would like to bring back its original values. Uh, just broadcasting urban music, keep the whole ori original schemes basically what they had before, but they kind of lost it with um, the whole situation of Global, where um, they lost the DJ which had been working there for actually 23 years, and they just took it off. And he played reggae, and where reggae is a, di is a dying, um, it's, a, it's a genre that doesn't get too much recognition nowadays as it did before, and with that it's just kind of taking away the um, the subcultures, just taking away that kind of genres, but that's what I'm saying, I would like to bring that kind of stuff back. If, if I can't do it myself, I'd like to be an influence to it at least. My plan of action. I'm currently studying a two year course on radio production on foundation level, but I'm going to do a top up here at um, Bournemouth University in order to set myself apart from the rest. So I look like I put in the extra step and, it'll look, um, and the employers will see that I've taken the extra step through actually doing that bachelor's when I could have done two years and then got some work done. Um, on top of that, I'm going to get some work experience at Represent Radio um, and on top of the experience that we're going to gain every Thursday at Spire Radio. Um, Represent Radio is a radio, that's in, radio station that's in London. Um, yeah, um, it, it's a radio station that's in London, so I, I would like to work there. It kind of reflects the values that Choice had before the whole global thing. So I just like to, um, I, I just like to work there. On top of that, I've been listening to it more considering the recent change um, with, the, with the Choice situation. Um, I will, um, well, during my work experience, I plan on taking radio demos um, to my placement to see if I can network. I never know who I could meet. I could play this demo to them and then in three years they might like it and come back to me after I've done my course. So, yeah. If all my work that I do to um, become a radio presenter pays off, I want to have a regular breakfast slot. Because I was, I was um, influenced by um, the Ricky and Melvin, Ricky and Melvin on Kiss Breakfast. I used to always listen to it through primary school to secondary school, through to college, always breakfast. Um, on, on top of choice, but I, I prefer the Kiss Breakfast show in general. So yeah, I'd like to do that, but I'm going to set apart because I'll put urban music in the morning for those who enjoy urban music and want to listen to it in the morning as opposed to the mainstream genres like pop and house and all of that. So, and I'll also do like kind of Tim Westwood influence kind of style because I would like to bring artists, guest artists sometimes to speak, sometimes to rap, just to keep it interesting, to know that it's all live because that's something that really is missing at the moment. My skills. I'm confident, I have good diction, and I'm creative. This is all um, gained through drama. Um, I can edit on Logic, Logic and Adobe, which is all gained through my music experience, because I'm an artist, but yeah, through just being in the studio with producers, I've been able to pick up skills off of Logic and transfer it onto Adobe due to their similar layouts and functions, and extended vocabulary as well, through my English literature, because I won't be, I have to build my way to the top. There may be jobs that I don't want to do, like working on BBC Classic Radio, and I may have to, like, I have to appeal.
appeal to the audience. I can't be using or colloquial language in such a situation where I'm working for um, the higher class, well, and appealing to the higher class. Um, yeah. Uh, my confidence helps me to will help me to address my audience with a strong voice whilst comfortable. I believe that this is very important as a radio presenter because you can have a strong voice, but if you're not comfortable, you will not build the relationship with the audience. So, yeah, um, that's where the confidence will take me. The diction is necessary, as I said, if planning to work with Capital Extra. Um, my creativity will help me with experimentations in comedy, drama scripting. As a radio D DJ presenter host, I, I want to experiment in all um, parts of the industry. Um, in my drama A2 course, I co-wrote um, an abstract drama piece on the Hillsborough incident. Lo loads of people came, it was local MPs, people were crying, so I think I'm quite good at it as well. Um, and editing on Adobe and Logic is a skill required, or well, I acquired in the recording studio, as I said. It's helpful if you want to pre-record shows, edit them, because nowadays BBC local radio, the majority of it just pre-recorded. Um, so with the pre-recorded shows, you just need to know how to do them properly because if you can't edit properly, then it won't sound right on the radio air. Um, the, um, I'll be talking about my inspirations now. My first and main inspiration is Jade's AVR. Well, um, due to my, well, as an artist, I attended the um, Choice FM seminar, um, and this is to gain further information within the music industry. However, I've gained some knowledge from it and has been able to transfer it into radio. Um, I asked Jane the AVR question at the Q&A at the end, and she said, well, yeah, I asked her, um, like, what's the best way to get into music, or how did she get into radio? She said the best route is through education and experience. Without education, you won't learn how to better your craft, and without experience, you won't put your education into action. This advice that I've been given has now led me to inquire into work experience at um, Represent, uh, work experience at One Extra, I've applied for all of that, so I was um, taking her route as she went to university like I did. I want to try and see if I could not mimic her, but take some things from her and make it mine and then help it to better myself. Um, this is um, the breakfast show she does with um, Kojo on Capital Extra in the morning. What I wanted to show was just like what the breakfast show kind of looks like, like how it is. Um, with this, um, the breakfast show roundup, they um, kind of integrated different social medias in order to show what they did at the breakfast show, as in they video recorded the actual show, what they were doing in the studio. And you see the energy and what they're dancing and all of that. And that's the kind of energy that I like to see in a breakfast or breakfast show, it wakes you up in a sense. And the second one was just a, a comedy sketch that's, um, well, that was done by um, her co-host on the breakfast show. Um, yeah, my, another inspiration of mine is um, Tim Weston. Um, just due to the way that he, um, how can I say, broke the status quo of um, the whole um, like white people can't be urban. I can't. It was like that, but um, he kind of um, broke the boundaries and it's paved the way for like many white urban presenters like Charlie Sloth um, off of One Extra and Logan Sama from Kiss FM. So yeah, I just like the way he stood out from the rest. He originally started off as a church boy, but now he's meeting the biggest rappers in the world, including 50 Cent, Eminem, Drake, Lil Wayne, and many more. And on top of that, I respect the way he's also paved the way for many like successful artists who come on to be millionaires now. And one of them is um, Chipmunk, and his legendary like freestyle on there set him to get a record deal 
um, and top the charts, and now he's signed by Ti, Ti, and he was like, before that he was signed by Sony. Well, Tim West has been broadcasting for 25 years and responsible for many UK artists' careers, so uh, that's what I hide. I see it. I res hi hi highly respect. Yeah. Um, employable me. Um, employable me will be able to use Adobe and Logic properly to the full extent. Um, be able to compose at least a one hour show. Um, perfect clarity. Understand the laws and regulations. I'll be engaging, entertaining, interesting, humorous, everything needed for um, the radio host. And the rest will be picked up along the journey as I don't know everything needed to be a radio host as I'm not one yet. So, yeah. And I had another clip of Ricky and Melvin talking about how they um, started off their. Um, their career and how they were starting off as um well um Rick Melvin originally started with music um he liked music a lot he said he wanted to be the next Michael Jackson but then um he also that's how he said that it looked unrealistic but the radio aspect was more realistic for him so he got involved in that um situation and the fact that he loves music helped him with his radio because he was passionate about something and he's kind of transferred it into another skill, which is radio hosting. And Ricky and Melvin are very successful hosting things on MTV, um, BBC, and many more. Yeah. Thank you very much. Anybody got any questions from my hand about his presentation? Yeah, what draws you towards them? Um this uh, gangster music as well as reggae, or like, what really makes you into um, uh, being at the, at the job of presenting? Oh music. yeah, um, no, I've, I've just always wanted to, like, with the drama, I've always just liked being the centre of attention in a sense. I don't need to be seen to have the attention on top of that. Um, and in terms of music as well, the, like, the genre I lean towards is, I'll say, is, um, is grime because um, that, that's what um, it was made in the UK and it hasn't been changed by anything else. It's like, um, it's just like UK born and bred and no one else is changing anything of it. It hasn't been a, um, like edited, nothing like that. It's always been 140 beats per minute for instrumentals. So yeah, grime's just always stayed the same and it's made by our country instead of following the whole American rap kind of things. Anyone else? Well done, Mohammed. Sorry about the technical glitches. Did very well. Um, if you wanted to find yeah. the links in Safari and show us the video separately, yeah. um, we could do that so that everybody sees them. Then we'll have a quick ten minute break, and um, Herbie can do his presentation in a second. So if you just quit out, whatever that is, I don't even think that's some. Um, that's not even powerful, is it? Or is this all web version? It's the web version, yeah. I think that's why it was. Actually, I won't be sure it's good. It's not even taking hand about it. Can you just Google those videos and find them? Will that be doable? Yeah. Just click, just get out of that and you can't do it in Safari. Is it there? Just get rid of that now. Herbie, do you want to um, stop the iPad? Yeah, I'll just... It'd be nice to see.